Ta-da! Look at that! That is the trailer for the 770. And yes, it's uh, it's pretty big, pretty uh, pretty cool. It's um, a bit different as well. It's the Scale Club. Well, they class it as an oil tanker, but I would actually say it looks more like a milk tanker to me. But here it is. Um, it arrived about 80% complete, and I had to assemble the uh, put the locker boxes on, put the rear bumper and this sort of deck plate on, and the ladder. Um, that was all stored inside the tank because this rear cap. I'll put some pictures up, but you untwist it and it comes off. And then the inside is completely hollow, which is great. Um, it is a serious, serious unit. I don't know if I can show you really. Um, yeah, pretty major suspension. Um, everything, everything is metal apart from these arches and obviously the tyres. But um, it's a lovely material it's it is a it's an amazing product <laughs> it's a beast of a trailer um these don't actually open into anything which is a little shame but uh don't matter no i am not putting liquid in it all right you can sod off with that idea knowing my luck it will leak everywhere and break everything and there's no point because there's no infrastructure at meetings for tankers you've got plenty of infrastructure there for like tippers for quarries and conveyors and uh with things like pallets for forklifts and loading bays but I've never seen, I've never gone to a club meeting and had like a tank pump or something, you know. It, it, what, I'm just going to put water in it and go, oh look, look, there's water in that. Oh, cool, anyway, carry on. There's no point. So I'm not bothering. I'm going to use all that lovely space for my electrics. I hide it all in there. And my battery. And I'll probably put the power switch in there. Or, I don't know. It's all planning at the minute, but um, it's it's a hell of a trailer. Um, I got the idea from my friend Dave. I took the truck um, two weeks for the Nationals back in June. I took it for its inaugural test run. And um, my mate Dave was there talking about what trailer I would put on it. Because I wasn't planning on putting a trailer on it, honestly. It's why I put a fifth wheel cover on. But um, with a paint, the, the bowl and boogie paintwork on it, I wasn't actually going to put a trailer behind it. But he said, if you're going to put a trailer get a tanker because it would look ace and um you don't see many of them obviously tamia make a tanker trailer but it's a us spec so it's uh tandems right at the back oval tank it's great if you're building a us truck but i don't think it will look right behind a scania um but this thing yeah it's mega now i know i know some of you are probably thinking it i could have built my own for bugger all money well compared to what this cost and yes it's true i could have built my own but from what I learned with the curtain cider, I have no interest in building a trailer from scratch. It just doesn't interest me. In fact, it annoys me. I love building with trucks, don't get me wrong, but the trailers, I don't know why, they just annoy me. So if I can get one that's 80% pre-built and then just throw the rest of the parts on, and then all I've got to worry about is the paint and the wiring, sign me up. <laughs> so that's what I've done. So yeah, in terms of what I'm going to do, I'm leaving it completely alone for now. Um, I'm just going to use it like this. It's, uh, it looks pretty cool. I'll put the I'll put it on the truck in a minute so you can see. But um, yeah, it's uh, I'm going to leave it like this for now, and then in the spring I'm going to paint it, and I'm also going to do the wiring. But I'm not say I'm going to leave that until spring when the weather's warm. Because right now it's gone horrible, and um, yeah, just get used to it. Come up with some ideas. Um, thankfully, the tank is actually separate from the chassis. I thought they might have tack welded it on, but they didn't. These are these bands, which are on loose, because I've just thrown them on, are actually holding the canister onto the chassis, uh, on these saddles. So these rear five bands, if you, un if you take them off, and you can see where they yeah, screw into the frame there. Rubber grommets underneath them. Very well done, but... I've only thrown them on loose, but take them off and the whole canister comes off. Yes, I'm going to polish the tank, all right? So this is, I'm getting asked this constantly and it's like, okay, I can't, I'm bored of repeating myself. The plan is paint the end caps purple on the rear end cap, I want my logo. And I'll, I want white reflective dots around the outer um, perimeter of the circle. My dad said they should be red. Um, I don't know, I'll think about that, but I think red might stick out a bit. If it's a truck, purple and white, you know, so... I don't know, but yeah, my logo and then dotted reflective dots, whether it be red or white, I'm not sure. Uh, 
paint the deck purple, paint the rear bumper purple, but and the rear lockers purple, all with like white stripes or highlights built in somewhere. Um, I'm getting rear lights made by Miro. They're just going to be replacements to these, but the two inners will be uh, reverse, and then the four, so the two outers on each side, they'll be what I call burger lights, which are red with an amber line in the middle. Um, three chamber lights, they're also called. Um, Miro makes lovely ones, so he's going to make me them. Because these are really bad. They're, for the amount of money you pay, they're not very good. They're like, you know, solid white lens. And then on the back, you've got this sort of like tack welded bucket with one LED socket per bucket, which is a bit strange. And they do include the LEDs in this little um, packet. I don't know if you can see them. Tiddly little things. I'll put them in my spares. I'll use them on something else. But yeah, Miro is going to make me them. I want to get some hubcaps for it. I want to paint the arches purple with the outer semicircle of white like I did on the curtain side. Obviously, the curtain side was red and white. These will be purple and white. Paint the frame purple. Paint the legs purple. Um, I say the front end cap will be purple. And on that front end cap, I want two white swans because um, it's a tie in with Mark Bolan and T Rex. Yeah, swans and him were like. That, synonymous you know he likes swans he wrote lots of poems and songs about them and a lot of his artwork included swans so that's the one image i'm sort of missing from that truck so i'm going to put them on the front of this um polish sort of from this weld line all the way back to here um i would like to try and paint the bands but i know that's going to be a complete pain in the ass because i'm going to have to flex them like hell to get them off and if I take them off and paint them and then flex them and put them back on, I've got a feeling it's just going to chip all the paint off. So I'm not sure how to do that, but I'll think about it. I would like to paint them. I don't know whether they'll be all white or all purple or, or purple, white, purple, white, purple, white. I'm not sure yet. Um, these lids, I don't know. I can take them off and paint the lids, but the actual like base of it and all this railing and the deck work, that's all welded on. So I'm not going to be able to take it off. So it's going to have going to be a lot of masking. Um... I don't think I'll bother painting the top decks. These I might paint purple and then have 770 in white decals on top. Obviously, you know, so we can't see it, but 770, yeah. I don't think I really needed to say that. But um, yeah, that's just an idea at the minute. Probably leave the hoses, might paint them, not sure. Uh, that's about it, really. And then lights, obviously, as I mentioned, Miro will make me a set of the rear lights. Uh, I'm going to have to make lots of little arms to hold the bulbs in place. I'll have to get some pictures of real tankers and try and figure out what the real ones look like. But on my tipper, I made little aluminium arms that came out and I have a 90 degree flange at the end. So I could put a, a marker light in that flange and then I can mount, mount the flange to the, the trailer. Um, in this case, it'll probably be... Uh, bent to the contour of a tank and then stuck on there so that's an idea i want lots of lights okay i want you know like i don't know how many but a row of marker lights along the bottom and ideally a row of marker lights along the top two red lights up here somewhere same on obviously markers on same on the other side on the front maybe two white lights in the same style as the two red ones at the back i'm not sure but um yeah I'll figure all that out. You know, I'm not doing anything to it till springs. So I've got plenty of time to plan and come up with designs and, and ideas. Um, but yeah, the only thing I've had to change on it is the kingpin because when the one that's included is a bit shorter than that, it only comes down to about here, not here, and it doesn't fit the Tamiya fifth wheel. So I just took, luckily, you can unscrew it, and I just took a spare one I had and put it on. So yeah, also. I'll show you something else I bought recently. <laughs> it's a drop side trailer, a little one, little twin axle, three panel. Um, I have plans for it. Ignore those screws, I'm fixing something. But um, I have plans for this for my crane truck for next year. So you'll see more on that next year. But uh, yeah, I've, I've put, been purchasing trailers for the past week. <laughs> this took a while to arrive, actually. It took about three and a half weeks. Um, because they had a national holiday in China. How dare they have a holiday when I bought my trailer. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a hell of a unit. It's heavy, seriously heavy. I mean, you can sort of... That cap comes off. That'll make painting that a hell of a lot easier. 
and he's like there <laughs> So, you know, it's, it, as I say, it ain't no plastic brooder thing. You know, it's a proper serious unit. Um, I got it off AliExpress, which I think was probably the best price I could find. But, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave you now with some pictures. This video's getting long. I'll leave you with some pictures of it on the back of the S. And, um, yeah, you won't see anything else about this until spring. Um, I want to concentrate for the rest of this year, all the videos, up until Christmas will be on the wrecker so um but yeah now that i've got that that's cool i've got some cool stuff on the way for the wrecker and uh yeah try and put this back on one hand no i won't bother with the cap anyway hope you enjoyed and um yeah put the pictures up on the screen you can see it looks pretty nice doesn't it it's different i like it but paint it up with some lights it'll look mint anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video cheers